Guys, welcome back to Car and Snail, and if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Today we are looking at the Sun and Moon base set. So this is, it's not the Pokemon base set overall, not the, the original, but this is the first release of the Sun and Moon series cards. So I got five packs here, one of every single pack art and one extra. So let's just take a look at the pack arts here. Really nice pack art for this set. My favorite is the Incineroar, which we'll get to here. Super nice pack arts. These are collectible. That's why I got the pack art set and I just had one extra kicking around. That's the Incineroar. I love that. Like, look at the action on that card. Just a bad looking character. So that's it. So we got four, five packs, 50 cards. Now, because of the full size packs, there's a rare in every pack. We're hoping for some holographics, some full art hollows, some of the big ones. You know what I'm saying? So let's get right into it. Um, oh, I should point out. I, these are uh, 2017 release. The original Sun and Moon is 2017 release, and some of the subsequent sets came out into 2018. So let's get in here and try to hit something big, guys. We're hoping for big hits. All right, so we got Paris, Chinchu, Alolan Rattata. Nice. Rog, rog and Rolla. It's like Rock and Rolla. Marini. All right, Reverse Hollow Zubat. See, okay, it's a common with the full eye. So I don't know when they decide to put the full eye or just have the lines of, or it's per set. I haven't really taken the time to check that out, but that is a nice card. Number 54 and 149, full hollow, or reverse hollow, uh, Zubat, and Crabominable. So that's our rare card, number 43 out of 149, Crabominable. It's gonna be a near mint card because these packs were in nice condition. As long as I don't beat the card up here on video. We got a Lightning Energy, Repel Trainer, Corsola, and Professor Kakui. And there is the code card for you online players. All right, on to pack two. Should we should we get rid of one of these? Let's get rid of one of the ones we have a double of. I don't want to just open the Incineroar right away. He's the best one. I'm a pack art collector. I try to collect one of every pack. I don't know if any of you guys do that. What do you think about that idea? I mean, if you would have started at the base set, you were making big, big progress in the investment world. So, okay, Drowsy. Cutie Fly, Skarmory, oh, I like Skarmory. Although it's just a common card, it's still a nice card. Bounce Sweet, Alolan Diglett, Diglett with blonde hair. All right, we got a Reverse Hollow Herdier. That's a nice card. I like the uh, the colorless Reverse Hollow. is a really nice rainbow shine to it, super nice. And it's an uncommon card, 104 to 149. Sweetness. Okay, and we got Hariyama. 68 out of 149 not a holographic rare but a rare card so nothing to complain about there our psychic energy crushing hammer trainer torah cat really nice card i love the torah cat card from this set super awesome energy switch and the code card was backwards you guys see that crazy call pokemon there was an error actually the error is that there was no full art hollow really is what's going on here that's that's the error. Whatever I call them about it, though, they never never answer. I'm kidding. Okay, Litten, the cute fire kitten, Stuffle, even cuter, Evie, the cutest, just in a row here, <laughs> Dupider. And Poliwag Beanbag. I like these ones. I know some people don't like them, but I like it. The claymation, like this is a, a colored beanbag, and they actually just take a picture of it on like a like felt in the background. It's kind of neat. I like it. And then the same Poliwag. What is this? This pack is weird. Like all the cutest cards in a row, and then two Poliwags. Reverse Hollow Poliwag. It's a common thirty out of one forty nine. And Golduck. We got the Golduck Rare, 29 out of 149. Non-Hollow Rare, so nothing huge there, but a nice card. We got Switch, Hypno, Potion, and there's our code card. Guys, we're getting skunked, if you ask me. This is this is a skunk job. We have not gotten a full art hollow, so let's go for the Incineroar. Our boy here, Incineroar, Incineroar the best looking pack. See if the best looker is also the best producer. Like is the case with me. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh. All right, guys. Caterpie, this is the pack. So let's feel it, vibe it. Skarmory, Morlull, 
Kind of cool. Cutie fly. The only mosquito you wouldn't mind biting you. Chinchu. All right, we got a Surskit. Uh, reverse Hollow Common. Nice card. Again, no big pulls. Not even a Reverse Hollow Rare. Killing me here. And Palisand. 75 out of 149. It is rare, but no, no hollow, no nothing. Like just killing us, breaking my heart. We got Pokemon Catcher Trainer, Passimian. That's actually pretty nice uncommon. It's actually one of the rare uncommons. If you watch my video, I've opened a lot of packs. You don't pull Passimian very often. Lima and the code card. Wow, guys. Wow. We may have gotten robbed. I bought these packs, the four art, the full art set. I ordered it online. You pay a pretty good premium when you buy the art sets. I think someone weighed us out of uh, competition here, though. I think we got weighted, weighted objects, which is possible for this set. The Sun and Moon set, just so you guys know, these packs can be weighted. You can tell if there is a secret rare in there or a uh, full art hollow in there. Okay, Drowsy, Grubbin, Firo. Makuhita, just a weird Pokemon. I love Makuhita. Shelder, all right. Reverse Hollow Pokeball. It's an uncommon trainer, 125 out of 149. And if my eyes don't deceive me, I think, boom, we got a full, oh, an Espeon GX. All right, guys, wicked awesome card. Number 61 out of 149. One of the rarest, most high-priced cards in the set. So let's just go through these. There's Pelipper, Tra Timer Ball, and Pinsir. Actually, the Pinsir's kind of nice, so we'll... Take a second on that, but let's end the code. But let's take a look at this Espeon GX. Wicked. This is one of the highest priced cards in the set. This is one of the rarest cards to pull. Beautiful card. It's the evolution form of Eevee. Let's take a look at the back. Absolutely near. Oh, oh, see? No, oh, it's not bad. Not bad, guys. I don't see any real glaring damage. No burring, no whitening. So we're pretty good there. Only thing I would say is our centering is pretty low end. So if you look on the left side here, up the edge, we got about a two millimeter gap between the black line and the edge. On this side, we got about a four and a half, maybe five millimeter. So we're left centered. Not a very good centering job, but a beautiful near mint card. Probably pushes PSA nine. Maybe might drop eight and a half, but I think this is a nine plus and nobody's complaining about an Espeon GX PSA nine Wicked card Look at that. I could look at this all day, especially because we got skunked on the other packs There it is, but guys so that is it for the Pokemon Sun and Moon base set full packs If you want to check out the pictures of these packs pictures of boxes pictures of the set the set list Check the link in the description for the Card Snail blog. If it's not uploaded yet, it will be soon. This is the blog is kind of the last thing I get to. And if you guys want to buy these cards, packs, boxes, swag, and tons of other collectibles, check the link in the description for the Card Snail eBay store. Otherwise, guys, thank you for your time. I appreciate you so much. If you want to smash that like and subscribe button, it would keep the channel rolling. And you guys, until next time, have the greatest days.